A 14-year-old boy is recovering tonight after being pinned under a truck while riding his e-bike last night in Waialua. As Paul Drews reports, this is just one of the many recent incidents involving e-bikes. There's been numerous talks about e-bikes lately, some involving bad behavior by riders, others because of numerous accidents, but not all of those incidents involve what Hawaii considers an e-bike. Clarify, it's a, a e-bicycle or e-motorcycle. There are two categories. There are some powerful ones, it's the dirt bikes. They all call the e-bike, that's, uh, that's uh, not clear. Hawaii only currently has two classifications of e-bikes, which have to have usable pedals and a motor that only propels you up to 20 miles an hour. Anything faster is not an e-bike, but an electric scooter or motorcycle, depending on how fast it can go, even if it still looks like a bicycle. Honolulu's Emergency Medical Services sees accidents involving motorized bikes several times a week on average. They're almost motorcycles, I would call them. You know, they're not comparable to your standard pedal bike. They go much faster. They have much higher um, rates of speed that they can go. So they're hitting parked cars, people, curbs, and just losing control. She says they see victims with head injuries, concussions, spinal injuries, as well as broken bones, along with cuts and scrapes, sometimes on children younger than 15 even though only those 15 and older are allowed to ride those low-speed e-bikes, while those riding motorized bikes that go faster than 20 miles an hour need a license. Many may not know the rules of the road when it comes to e-bikes, which is why the Honolulu City Council passed a resolution calling for changes to its current classification. We want to have these classifications properly stated so that we can then say you are going to require a specific license, a specific registration, and, and then the police department can then enforce who's riding the bikes. Paul Drews, Island News.